This episode of Paddle TV is brought to you by the ACA, improving the paddle sports experience for over a century. Learn more at AmericanCanoe.org. One of the reasons canoeing is such a popular activity is that as long as you stick to small, calm bodies of water and stay close to shore, you can throw in a life jacket, hop into a canoe, and go for a paddle without having received any formal instruction. That being said, taking the time to learn a few key canoe strokes will make you a more competent paddler and make you safer on the water because you'll be more equipped to deal with wind and waves which can play havoc on inexperienced canoers. And so in this video, we're gonna look at three key strokes that will dramatically improve your paddling competency. The first stroke we're gonna talk about is the J-stroke. The J-stroke is the form of a forward stroke that allows you to keep the boat going straight while you paddle on one side of the canoe. The J-stroke starts like a normal forward stroke, but once your paddle shaft is alongside your knee, you'll twist your top control hand's thumb forward and down while you pull the same hand inward. While doing this, your lower shaft hand stays still and acts as a pivot so that as your top hand pulls inward, the paddle blade is prying water away from the stern of the canoe, which counters the natural turning effect of the forward stroke. This prying action will only be effective if you've twisted your top control hand enough so that the blade is parallel to the side of the boat while doing so. The next essential canoe stroke we'll talk about is the draw stroke. The draw stroke is used to move a canoe sideways, or in tandem, it can be used to spin a canoe around if both paddlers use it on opposite sides. The draw stroke is a key maneuvering stroke when launching and landing, and a great positioning stroke when performing a rescue. The draw stroke begins with the paddle positioned to the side of the canoe adjacent to your hip with your arms extended and your torso rotated to face the paddle. The more vertical you get your paddle, the more effective the stroke will be. Now, with the blade planted deeply in the water, pull it towards your body. The stroke ends before the paddle hits the side of the canoe, and there are two ways to finish the stroke. The easy finish is to slice the paddle out of the water towards the stern. The more advanced and fluid technique involves twisting your top control hand thumb away from you to rotate the paddle 90 degrees. You can then slice your paddle blade through the water back out to where it started. You can then twist your blade back into position and take another draw stroke. The last stroke we're going to talk about has two variations, the stern draw and the stern pry. These are key strokes for solo canoers and for the person at the back of a tandem canoe because they represent the best way to initiate turns or for keeping the boat going straight. The stern pry starts with your paddle flat against the side of the canoe at the stern with your lower shaft hand resting on the gunnel just behind the hip and your top control hand reaching across the canoe. With your blade fully immersed, you'll pull your top control hand inward while your lower shaft hand stays on the gunnel acting as a pivot point for the pry. The stern draw is used to turn your canoe in the opposite direction. The idea is to pull water directly to the stern of your canoe, and this is done by planting your paddle blade behind you and away from the side of the canoe. To take the stroke, you'll push your top control hand across the canoe while you pull your lower shaft hand back and towards the stern of the canoe. Just make sure to lift the blade out of the water before it hits your canoe, where it can get pinned and throw you off balance. Well, I hope you found this video helpful, and if you enjoyed it, Please subscribe to our Paddle TV YouTube channel for more tips and tricks.